Okay, welcome back. Now we continue working out the CSEC 2017 mathematics. May 2017 mathematics past paper. All right. We have reached question 3B. Here, what they say is that you are. What this says, using a ruler, a pencil, and a pair of compasses, construct accurately the square ABCD with size 6 centimeters. All right. Let's see how you deal with that. Let me have a straight line, a long line, all right? No. I need a square, so I need a line that is 90 degrees to this. Let me get my compass. This is my compass, all right? My pair of compasses. I want to choose a certain point on it, on this line. Let me choose a point here. I Put my compass points right at this intersection. Let me scribe an arc here because what I'm doing now is constructing a 90 degrees. I need to lengthen this line and I scribe an arc right here. Good. Let me open the radius on my compass a little more. Put my compass point at the intersection of the line on this arc. And scribe a new arc here. Move it right here. And don't change the radius. Don't change the radius of the compass at all. And scribe a new arc here. After that now, this line is going to be 90 degrees from this line. All right? They say the size must be six. Let me get my ruler. And measure six centimeters. All right, six centimeters up. So I have six centimeters. Okay, good. So from here to here is six centimeters. I didn't, I wasn't able to get these two lines here lined up properly because I'm using the computer but you should get them lined up properly when you're using pencil and paper all right so my compass point here I want to open the compass to six centimeters so Yeah, this looks like six centimeters. That's six centimeters, all right? So what I do is scribe another arc right here. And I know that the distance from here to here is six. Let me put the compass point here. I'm going to scribe another arc. So this distance from this point to anywhere on this arc is six. Let me put my compass point right here and scribe another arc. So this distance from here to here is six. So a line from here to the intersection of these arcs. I'm not able to locate the 
intersection of these arcs dead on due to the computer program but you get the idea right and another line right here so I have my square ABCD let me label the sides let me put A here B C right A and D right here good so now I have my square A B C D that's my square for three marks after that let's see what else they say I'm to do construct all right, let me get this down. Put it on our page. I have some space below here, so let me put it here. All right, construct as an extension of your drawing in B1, the trapezium DABQ, so that ABQ is 120 degrees. So this is B2. And I'm going to make some adjustment to B1. So A to B to Q is 120. Now, I know this is 90. All right. 90, 110, 20, 30 degrees more would make 120. So another 30 more would make 120. So it's going to be look somewhat like this. Well, let me just get rid of these lines. Mm, oh no. Let me just get rid of just this. Let me get rid of these little markings here. Good. Now I'm going to continue with my construction. I already have 90 degrees in here and I want 30 more. So I need to get rid of my little illustration here. Good. So I need a 30 right here. What I need to do is to construct a 60, then bisect the 60 to get 30. So let me get back to my compass. Let me shorten it, reduce the radius, Com pencil point, compass point right here. And then what I will need to do, scribe an arc here without changing the radius I put my pencil compass point here scribe another arc now notice the distance from here to here is the same distance from here to here same distance from here to here so if I should draw a triangle like this it would be equilateral so each angle would be 60 so this is 60 all right let me draw a line from this point to the intersection of these arc this is a 60 degree what i need to do is bisect the 60 to get my 30 so that this 90 plus the 30 give me 120 so let me get back to my compass, my pair of compasses. Put my compass point here. Let me extend the radius. No, I should put my compass point here first. Then I'm going to scribe an arc right here. 
compass point here. Make sure I get that right. Without changing the radius, I scribe another arc. Now, this line through the intersections bisect the 60. This line bisects the 60. So I have a 30 right here to add to my 90 so that Q. I put my Q right here. So this is Q. All right. So I get my two marks, two additional marks by putting Q right here. Make sure you show all construction lines. Okay, good. So that's it for now. We'll continue next time.